As part of an effort to reduce physical interactions with confirmed or potential COVID patients in San Patricio County, the health authority there is changing the way they notify residents about needing to quarantine. And it's actually pretty traditional. It's being done by mail. And what's different about that? Well, according to Dr. James Mobley with the county, previously a representative from the sheriff's office would go out and actually deliver the quarantine or release notices. But with the increasing number of cases in the county, they hope to reduce those in-person visits. So we're going to start using the mail. What we will do is now mail out the information and we've actually uh, established a phone line where people can call in and acknowledge their, uh, that they received it and also give us further information that we need. Uh, and then once uh, they reach the release time, we will also send them a registered and regular mail to tell them that they're released. And so if you receive that notice from the health department, Mobley urges you to confirm it as soon as possible with the county. And despite the growing number of cases in San Pat, he says at this time, there does not appear to be a particular hotspot in the county. Although he did point to two areas that seem to be doing rather well now in terms of low case counts. A little bit lighter on the uh, area towards the coast, interestingly enough. Uh, Ingleside and Aransas Pass have cases, uh, but seem to be a little bit lighter than the rest of the county. When asked if or when we'll get to the point that the county would report cases by zip codes, like we have seen for Nueces and other larger counties, Mobley said that probably will not happen.